Hi, my name is Nun Fonseca and I'm the creator of the Sound Particles uh, software and I have this series of video tutorials that allows you to, to better understand the, the concept of the software and how to use the, the software. Um, particle Systems is a, a technology that's, that is widely used in computer graphics and visual effects, especially to recreate uh, the objects that have these fuzzy, shapeless uh, forms like fire, smoke, dust, rain, things like that. And essentially, uh, particle systems were a technology that was created because instead of having an animator to individually create uh, and animate each one of these subsets of, for instance, a water drop or a grain of smoke or a grain of dust or something like that. So instead of having an animator trying to animate and move each one of these uh, slight small particles, the idea is to create a system that with some parameters you can control the system using these parameters and then the system will create and manage all of these particles. So if you want to create a rain situation, you could simply say, okay, I want uh, 1000 uh, rain drops per minute or something like that coming, starting in this area and then moving down and things. So essentially it gives you uh, much more freedom. You end up having much more organic results and you can do different ways of doing things. So essentially, this is a technology, like I mentioned, it's widely used in computer graphics, but until now it was uh, almost inexistent in audio applications. So the idea is to use these particle systems and use this for audio. And imagine, for instance, that you are creating the sound of a battlefield and you, uh, instead of going to your sound library and then adding one sound track by track to your until you get the sound, the final sound of a battlefield. The idea of a, a particle systems is, for instance, you could come here to the software and say, okay, I want to create 10,000 particles spread over a, a square with one mile long, and then I'm going to pick up the war-related sounds from my sound library and go there and pick up some for instance, 50 different sounds with explosions, screens, impacts, and things like that, and then distribute this among my uh, 10,000 particles and then place a virtual microphone on the middle of the battlefield and then capture the sound of everything as it moves, uh, uh, as the action uh, are happening. So the idea of particle systems is this one. First of all, you have a you create this virtual 3D representation of sound, you can have movements, you can have a lot of sound sources, you could have uh, tens, hundreds, thousands or even millions of sound sources together happening at the same time. This is not using synthesis, you are using original audio files with your original audio material, you can render everything with virtual microphones that instead of a virtual camera, like the one, the camera that is using in visual effects or TGI animation or something like that, you're simply replacing this, the virtual camera by a virtual microphone. So the virtual microphone will be responsible to capture sound and will take into consideration things like distance uh, propagation and, uh, in terms of delay and attenuation and Doppler effect and all of this and it's interesting creative uh, approach. So regarding the software, what you are seeing here, it's it's one of these point is a sound source. So it's one I have in here two different groups with eventually different sounds. And so I can have all of this, like I mentioned, each one of these point is a it's a different uh, uh, sound sources. I can have a, a virtual microphone in the middle. In this case, I have a 5.1 microphone that captures and renders the sound of everything that is happening in this situation. But eventually I can even use different formats like 7.1 or eventually immersive formats like Auro or Dolby Atmos or things like that. So eventually I can render my scene with a different uh, a different uh, output or eventually even render the same scene for different kinds of microphones and render the scene in 5.1 and the same scene with uh, 7.1 and different types of microphones. So the main idea is you have all of this happening. So each one of these 
each one of these points is a sound source and you simply creatively create these sounds around you. You place them, you add movement, you may have audio modifiers because you don't want all particles to sound exactly the same like any other particle. So you can have random delays, random frequency responses with random equalizations, granular synthesis, you can use a lot of things and currently the, the software it's being tested on major Hollywood studios so it's going to be an interesting approach for sound design because like I mentioned it, at some times it could give you uh, it could do things more, much more easier for instance a scene like the battlefield that I mentioned in two minutes in less of two minutes you can create thousands of uh, sounds and uh, uh, and then render everything of course the render it's going to take uh, additional time because it depends on the number of uh, sounds that you are using for instance if you are saying that you are using 10,000 particles actually from the software point of view it's handling 10,000 audio tracks that needs to render and mix and um, and also, besides that, you end up having much more organic results because you are not creating a few and then trying to create some randomness, but actually you are copy pasting them to create more. So in terms of uh, organic results, it's not the same. By using truly random uh, parameters, you have much more organic effect. And also quite important, it, you have a perfect coherence between sound and space. It's not a matter of trying to create uh, the sound, like the sound of a restaurant or something like that. And then later on, try to add some space and create some kind of surround version of the, the restaurant uh, scene that you have created before. Now everything in here, it's the sound and the space is perfectly coherent and you it's everything created at the same time. So it's interesting uh, approach for sound design and for uh, other applications in terms in terms of audio. So let's start to see how to how to use the software to create whatever you want.